Uh, we've historically seen that CPUs are a lot more efficient at uh, running tasks like inference. And you talk about this in your case um, where, you know, it's magical to have access to these large language models to be able to train them, but the cost that you're running to train the model and then even at inference, it's much more efficient to run um, 50 houses for 100 years. Um, you do that and you'd still not even come close to the cost of training a single uh, GPT-4 uh, class model, which is why um, you think CPUs for inference are one of the solutions to this problem, or do you see also other solutions to optimize this problem going forward? Certainly CPUs are one of the most important possibilities for changing the economics of inference. And I know that uh, Intel is working on this, AMD is working on this, I'm on the board of uh, Ampere Computing and we're working on this. So everyone's gonna try to figure out ways to drive the inference market towards a CPU solution w with some embedded uh, accelerators. Just yeah. a, you, you can't just take a, a CPU <laughs> off the shelf right, and do this, right. but there are, there are a lot of things that um, I know we're doing at Ampere and I'm sure the same thing's happening at AMD and Intel to, to embed a lot of that capability into the next generation CPUs that will make them much better uh, alternatives. Again, and it, part of the problem is the power problem. Right, just the, the power required to uh, run a, a data center with uh, 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000 GPUs is off the map and power has become the biggest constraint. So you, if you have much lower power CPUs that can uh, actually be air cooled and not water cooled and be put in, into an environment where uh, you don't have the same requirements of uh, needing a, a nuclear power plant to, to run the data center, um, you know, which is why Microsoft wants to, to re-engage Three Mile Island.